Peep the way I do it, homie. They don't do it like me. You ain't really balling. You just watching like you spike. What's going on guys, it's Bear, and today I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how to create a professional, uh, simple, big like, header or banner, I don't know what to really call it, but, um, basically what this is going to be, I'm just, it's going to be literally recreating this, and I did this for Jay Zach, which is like a rapper from New Hampshire, so, uh, go check him out, he'll be in the description too, he actually makes some pretty sick stuff, but, um, basically, we're going to be making this, and, uh, we're going to be making a header, and I got some confusion with my last tutorial and my, uh, like, on my Skype, and, uh, 1500 by 500 is actually the Twitter header size, it's not YouTube, so you can't import these into YouTube, sorry. But, I uh, guess you can just use a t YouTube template and do the same thing I'm doing now. So, what you guys want to do is go into Photoshop and just create a new document, 1500 by 500. Alright, and then you guys can just really start off and just make the background black. So basically this is when it starts the banner and uh, if you guys go back to I believe it's this tab there's a uh, pictures in the background so what I actually did is I took a white square and I just made it it's like I think it was 1.5 and then I took it and then I just put these together like this All right just like that and then I highlighted them all so I click this and hit control shift D or control shift and then I hit control T and then I just took it and I shrunk it so it was the same size as this so if you go across it'll do that alright then what I did after that is I deleted the first uh, three or four or whatever so I came back to one and then I just put in the top left hand corner so this is pretty much the most tedious part it's actually uh like the most annoying so what you guys can do is let's just say you go to Google and go to Instagram or something alright and then you can take your just your picture and then you're gonna have the take your print screen thing and then just hover over it and then take this little tab which is a copy tab or just hit right click and copy or save them whatever you guys want to do alright and then you guys can just hit control T and paste it in so now that you have this what you're gonna do is click on your picture and then hold alt and then you see how it makes this little box with the drop down arrow you're just gonna drop this down onto the rectangle and then it's gonna just disappear next thing you wanna do is just take it and drag it along until you start seeing it in the picture so basically what this did is just made this so it cannot show anywhere except for this picture all right, so you're gonna put yours to your corner and like the corner, and then take this and make it smaller, and just throw it in. All right, so now that you have that. What else you want to do is go in the rectangle and hit Control J, and then just take the bottom rectangle and bring it downwards until you see these ruler lines. Just put a nice straight edge onto this. All right, and then you can just go over to like the next picture, and you guys can go through these. I'm gonna use this one. All right, and then you can just copy that and then paste that in and then hit alt and then click on the clipping mask again and then just drag it over and do the same thing so basically you guys have to do this for every single picture so what I would do if I was you is I would pause this video go do all this and then come back to it because what I'm gonna do is delete these and just take the same backing from over here so I have a group actually like this there's good alright so this is what I did but um so I had all these pictures done and I sized them so they just fit like that and then I put them in a group and then I took the group and then heard merge group so everything's just one picture alright the next thing I did is I went to image went to adjustments in black and white and this is pretty much just made it black and white and you guys don't have to do this but I did it because it just looked better and then I took it and lowered it down to like probably like 30 percent Let's just go check. Yeah, about 30%. All right, and then I did a little enhancement on the bottom. So for this little enhancement, this is pretty much what you guys, what color you guys want to do yours. I did orange because it's getting to Halloween. I think orange is a nice color to do, but you guys can do it. I'm gonna do a nice blue. So you want to take your brush on just like a size, I don't know, like a high 300s or middle mid 300s, and then just like highlight the bottom like this. All right, and then just lower the opacity a little bit, so it just leaves that nice fade up. All right, 
And then the next thing you want to do is make a new layer and then grab your rectangle tool and just throw a rectangle pretty much in the left hand side and then taking the opacity and lowering it. Just like this and rasterize it. And then you guys can just play around where you want it to be. The next thing you can do, uh, this isn't really recommended, but you guys can take this and then take it out of the rectangle so it's just not so colorful or bluish, not too much color. Or you can just take this and bring it uh, downwards like that. So there's just still that little bit of enhancement. Alright, so next thing you want to do is just add a little brush enhancement. So you want to take your new layer and then make a white brush. So you just have your same, same size, like a high 300, and then click like the bottom left hand corner, the top middle, and the bottom right, and then just lower the opacity. So it just creates this uh, nice effect. Alright, so next thing you want to do is pretty much start with your text. So with this text, I'm going to be using the font, uh, I think it's like Coco Goose. Yeah, Coco Goose. Awesome name. But um, you guys don't type anything. I'm going to type in... Uh, you just type in like free or something. Um, I don't think this is always like that. Yeah, like let me make sure it's the same font. Oh, not the same font. Let's go to my downloads. Ooh, I think I deleted all my downloads. Shit. Hmm. All right, so you guys are gonna have to go through these fonts. Um, you basically what you want is a nice font that's like a typographic font. Uh, not that. Not that. I mean, you guys can use Typographic Pro. I'm just trying to figure out which one I use. But um, a nice cool thing you guys can actually do is go to thefont.com. And this is pretty much, you can choose fonts. So you guys can go to basic and then type in your thing. So you can type in like free. And then you guys can literally go through all of these and find a nice like free font. Um, we'll just type in template. There has to be a font like this. Actually, I might be able to use this font. Yeah, I'm going to use this font. So you pretty much just use uh, any font you want that's a nice, bold, typographic font. I'm using this one. And then you can just take it and center it like this. Alright, and uh, you're going to take it and then make it your blue color. So what I'm going to do is I don't have the blue color saved, so I'm going to click here and then just bring it up. And I've kind of just guess and use my own instinct. So I have that, and I'm going to make a new layer and then put a clipping mask on it. So I'm going to hold Alt and then put it onto the template text and then click with a smaller brush, like a size 100. And just kind of click like this. Alright, and then you're going to take your opacity and lower it down. And this creates a nice little cool wavy effect. So, oops, if I go back to my video, not video, but my template thing here, you can see it has the uh, gradient. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. It's actually pretty simple and it looks very nice. So you're going to make a new layer under the text. And then zoom in. And then you're going to click the top at the bottom left hand corner of this and then just drag it all the way down and then bring it across and then bring it upwards because this print this is pretty much all going to get filled with the black color so now you're going to go to fill and then make it your background color or whatever color is the black all right and then you can click right here and do the same thing and then you're just going to pretty much keep filling this over and over again so once you get here you're pretty much going to want to just zoom in and do it so you can go like here go up a little bit You guys get the point, and then you guys can just like go back over here, put a fill on it. And then right here, which is going to be the last one we do, oops, you're going to fill it here so it has that drop down effect, and then you're going to take it from the E, oops. And you're gonna zoom out a little bit. I forgot about that. So you're gonna take it from like the E or whatever letter it is, and then bring it all the way down like this. And then fill that. 
All right, so now you have just this black effect right here. So next thing you wanna do is just take it and then you guys can lower the opacity a little bit to about like 60 or 70. I'm gonna go down to 70 or up to 70, whatever you guys wanna say it was. And then take your eraser on like a size 400 and just erase like this. So actually I'm gonna do that over. Just like that. So it has a text, so I did the same thing. Keep forgetting. I already have it open right here. So you guys can really just bring this up a little bit. All right, so now that you can do this, you can have uh, other stuff. Damn, uh, let's just say you wanna add social links. So what I'm gonna do is open up my social link pack. Uh, I gotta figure out where it was. Nope, that's my thumbnail template social media pack alright so this is actually going to be in the description uh, along with everything else except for this I'll explain more in the download link but you guys can just take your pretty much your pref preferred icons just say you can take Behance you can take Instagram um not Skype take selfie I'm gonna just do four and then you can take let's just say Twitter well Twitter's already on here but you guys understand all right and then you're gonna take these four and then kind of put them together like this and then take it and shrink them just like that so you guys want to find a spot to put these I'm actually already thought about it and uh, you're gonna pretty much just find any location on your banner to do it so I'm gonna put mine right here and then have this so it's with the text so it's you see it's like that and you guys can even just like put them right here or you can put it like right here so you guys can literally do it whatever you want with them um you guys can also just shrink it more and stuff so you guys can just put this right back here all right and then what we're gonna do is make a new layer under those so you're pretty much what you did with the text you're going to do the same thing except for not as far down because you're gonna be erasing most of it. So I'm gonna take a shortcut and do this. All right, and then you're gonna do, just take it and then decrease the fill or the opacity. And then take your eraser on a size like 100 and kind of erase that. Actually put, the, put it up a little bit. So it creates a little extra gradient on top of it so it looks like it has depth over a little bit so now they have that you guys can add extra text so I'm gonna type in let's say bear designs and then I'm going to take it and make it let's just say white white always looks nice like this all right and then you guys have to go find a font so the best thing to do is go find a straight small font like this uh, I'm using century gothic and then you guys can make everything lowercase because I think it looks a little better all right and then you're gonna shrink the text a little bit all right and then you can just place it let's just say right here up a little bit now I'm gonna put it back down all right so like this it's a little too big still So you guys see, I just like place it wherever I want. And then you can have your like your template and then, or you can just put it, let's just say right here. All right, so you guys can do that. Another cool thing you guys can do is, I'm gonna take this comma out of the way. It's bothering me. So it's just bare designs. So another thing I'm gonna do, I did it in this. I did a square and uh, I think squares look a lot cooler than actual period blocks. Like I don't know, I was talking to my mom about that. It's kind of weird, but I think up square and in, like instead of using a uh, period looks a lot nicer. So you guys just have your little period. So let's just take your template, your whatever your text is, and then your social links, and then your name. But um, you can also do other stuff. So you guys can make a new layer, and then taking a rectangle, and then just make it like this, like half your screen, and then lower the opacity. Alright, and then rasterize it. 
So what you want to do is put it in the right hand corner and then take your eraser on a size like 300 and then just erase like the sides like this. All right, and then duplicate it. Bring it to the edge of that one. Let me zoom in a little bit. And then bring this one down and then do the same thing. So it's like a stepping stone of effects. All right, and the last thing you guys can do is another effect is make a new layer. Take your blue again and make little squares. And you guys can just uh, put these look like, wherever you guys want. I'll make it a little smaller. You can like put one like over here. Like that. All right, and then you guys can just go with your own thing and make your own stuff. But I just wanted to show you guys little cool effects. So um, basically this is the tutorial. It's not that hard to do, but it looks very clean. It's very unique and uh, it's pretty much very presentable to people. But um, you guys can literally take this and then make it your own style. You guys can take this and do whatever you guys want with it. You can uh, change colors. You guys can make stuff like a full spectrum one. Whatever you guys want to do. But um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, try to keep it under like a long time. It's only 16 minutes. But I've been trying to bring out more tutorials for you guys. I actually feel a lot better. If you guys watched my last tutorial, I was really sick and I had like, a really bad sore throat. And I figured out that I had mono and I have a Kiksaki virus. So I got a lot of things going on right now. But I felt really good today and I thought I'd do this for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, make sure to check out Tutorial Hub. I have, I think we're almost at 400 subscribers. Actually, I'm going to talk about subscribers after that. But I think we're almost at 400 subscribers. I just hit 3,700. So thank you guys for that. But Tutorial Hub is on its way to... Oh, on its way to 400. We're 20 away. So hopefully you guys, you guys can just bump that to 400 when you, uh, you guys see this. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to follow all my links down below. My Instagram, my Twitter, and everything for uh, updates and stuff. And just check out cool pictures. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe to Tutorial Hub too. Peace out.